Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the top five best ways to take down the Warden. A uh, quick thing that I want to mention, every single one of these attempts I am doing with the same protection for armor. Uh, just because I think the Warden by this time will have protection for. Again, I highly recommend it. Don't try and take down the Warden with just iron armor. This guy's really OP. So, the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is just, it's it's called the, the punch to bow trick. It's very simple. So, let's uh, go show me taking down the Warden right now. Okay, so the Warden's right there. Um, so, if I can just, whoa, there he is. Okay, also would like to note I'm using spectral arrows and I'm just going to spam the ever-living daylights out of him. And with Spectral Arrows, I think are very useful. You can farm them very easily with uh, Piglin Drops. So, again, get this Power 5 Bow, Punch 2, and just keep bowing them. It will take a very long time. This dude's got a lot of health. But, again, if you're up on a height as well, very helpful. Uh, again, you can just do this with 3 blocks, 4 blocks. It doesn't matter as long as you have some height on this guy. There's nothing he can do to literally beat you. Uh, again, Punch 2 as well. You could probably do this on the ground. Again, I don't know why you would want to do this. Just do it on a pillar. Much more efficient. So, I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'll get back when this guy's dead. Alright, just like that, he is dead. Took no damage the entire time. Punch 4, uh, or what? Protection 4, punch 2 from a distance, and, uh, yeah, took him down very easily. That's the only amount of XP you get from this guy, really? Anyways, yeah, so that was that. Um, don't have anything else. Again, literally only had a punch bow, so, yeah. That's the first strategy. A punch bow, guys, is very useful indeed. So, moving on to the next strategy. This next strategy involves simply lava and any type of bow just to keep the warden in place. Let me demonstrate how it works. Okay, so there's the warden right there. We're going to just drop down here, place a whole ton of lava in front of this guy. There we go. He is now burning up. Just keep him in there. Don't want him to move. Also, just to, just to keep him distracted on me. He's coming towards me where the lava is kind of uh, coming out here, so you just might want to put a little bit more in there, back up from the lava, don't want to get caught on lava myself, and just bow this guy from a distance, the warden doesn't drop much stuff, if this is a strategy really effective, if you don't care about getting the drops from the warden, and you just care about keeping him in the, uh, beating him, okay, okay, now he's gotten out, again, lava's helpful also for you to be able to see, I don't think the warden's gonna jump back in though, we might need him to get back on the ground here, come at me bro, there we go, okay, I'm gonna jump in the lava, I also didn't bring food for this, so, uh, yeah, we're taking a little bit of damage here for the Warden, but that's okay. Protection 4 armor should keep me alive. Again, if you're going to use this strategy, maybe get some fire protection armor, but, yeah, we're going to have him come at me here. Okay, some more lava. There we go. So, again, I got that much closer than I needed to get. I mean, if I had some food, I'd be, I'd be safe, but, uh... Yeah, so make sure you bring some food if you really want to make it easier for yourself. Some protection, uh, some fire protection armor instead would probably help out more than just basic protection. But yeah, you can clean up the lava and it's like it never even happened. So yeah, lava's a pretty good strategy if you don't mind uh, about the drops. This next strategy involves some cobwebs, so let's get into it. Okay, so we're right above the warden right now. Uh, again, I have a bow with uh, just kind of basic stuff here. So I could do the bow trick that I showed earlier, which is probably much more effective in this situation. Or place a whole ton of cobwebs in this direction. Come on, Warden, come here. Okay, I'm gonna make a whole bunch of cobwebs here. Just kind of place them around. And then from a distance, we just want to bow the Warden and don't let him escape. Place more cobwebs as he's about to. Fire the old crossbow. And just absolutely obliterate him here. He is literally can't move, so we can just spam the ever-living daylights out of him. And just like that, the Warden is dead. Also, make sure you guys... Bring a, bring a sword, make sure you can clean up the cobwebs, just in case you want to get any of the drops from the warden. Uh, so yeah, that strategy is very effective. So let's move on to the next one. This next one involves obsidian, which you got to do a good old-fashioned obsidian trap on the warden. So let's get into it. So the warden's going to come for you right away. That's when you want to pillar up just about this many blocks. Preferably three. I kind of messed it up there, so I'm just going to do this and come back down to three. Just like this, we're going to make a big wall for him to come towards. We also got to be careful of brick is up areas where it bricks up, kind of like that one back there. Uh, we're just going to also kind of go like this, like that. Again, it would this strategy I feel like would be very useful if you had a pal to help you out with uh, this. But again, I'm on my own, so it kind of does take a little bit of some ability to kind of outmaneuver the warden, if you will. I kind of think smarter than him because got to make sure Okay, he's coming in this way. Can I do that? There we go. That should help. Okay. I think I'm set with him, but I just want to make sure. 
we can just do that. There we go. Now the warden's in place. He's not going to move. He's not going to attack me either. Again, you could do this strategy very similarly. Uh, now that you have him trapped, you can kind of break into the obsidian. I didn't bring a pickaxe with me. Uh, yeah, but here we go. There's a spot. I'm just come in right here. Just attack him. You can also see me earlier. I was just pillaring up. That's another good strategy, pillaring up. I just don't think it's as notable. This is a lot more fun, more challenging if you want to. But again, pillaring up, another very good strategy just for taking out the warden. And just like that, we've taken out the warden. Strategy is probably pretty helpful if you have a pickaxe, but uh, I don't have one. So yeah, trap the warden in a box and you can just slam away. Okay, this last strategy, uh, it involves TNT. Things are about to get a little deadly. Where did the warden go? He was over here. Hello, sir. Uh, I need to place some TNT as well. I heard the warden. There he is. There's the big fella. Again, you can bow him like I was doing earlier. Uh, or you become a madman and place as much TNT as you can physically manage. Uh, and then, again, blow it up. Place more TNT. And then run. Okay. And that right there is where my recording software crashed. The reason for that is because I didn't show you guys. I put a thousand by a thousand block of TNT underneath the platform where I was fighting the warden. I just thought it would be a cool explosion that would kind of cap off the video nicely with a cool explosion, a funny moment, stuff like that. Except it, it literally crashed my game, so... Yeah, let's just resume back to where I was when the game wasn't crashed. Okay, well that was freaking crazy. My uh, my game crashed, I rejoined the, 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 the game, and I hear the sound of something suffocating, or burning. Is the warden still alive? My game, the warden I think survived that. I'm pretty sure the warden survived that. How? Okay, so that might be the one strategy that didn't work. It crashed my computer, crashed Minecraft, but it didn't kill the one. Okay, so maybe TNT isn't the best strategy. My, my new strategy for you guys would all be to just, just pill her up and then just bam, bam, bam. I mean, it's th it's three blocks, guys. The warden's not that part of a mob, guys. Let's be real. Let's let's be real. It's not that. If you have a bow, you pill her up two blocks and you, you've beaten the warden. All right, well, that's going to be the video for you guys today. If you liked the video, make sure to leave it a like. And if you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. Thanks again very much for watching. Stay tuned for more.